Now look, I don't suppose, or I hope I don't suppose, that the Albanese government's announcement it was dropping the heads of ASIO and ACES, our domestic and foreign spy agencies, as routine attendees at the National Security Cabinet meetings, had anything to do with that visit from the Chinese Foreign Minister this week. But he'd have to regard it as a good day's work to get two of the agencies most concerned about the China threat now pushed outside the formal decision-making processes of Cabinet in Canberra. The National Security Committee, we call it the NSC, as the name suggests, is a committee of Cabinet. In formal terms, the members of the NSC are the politicians, not the bureaucrats, the politicians are the formal members. So that's the PM, uh, senior ministers like the Defence Minister, Foreign Minister and other security portfolios. And there to advise them in the room are the top defence, security and foreign affairs experts that Australia has. Or they there, were they there in my time and perhaps there in Labor's time, but not under this government, not until Labor booted them out. Two of the most important people we have in the ASIO chief, that's the boss in charge of our domestic intelligence, and the ACES chief, our foreign spy agency. Now, having sat in plenty of these NSC meetings in the past, I find this decision by Prime Minister Albanese very concerning, to say the least. In my time, sitting there and dealing with issues like Islamic State, Australian troops in Afghanistan, MH17 being shot down by U in, in Ukraine by Russian separatists, the, the Lynch siege in Sydney, a whole lot more I can't publicly talk about, obviously. Well, I think we always had a better discussion with the spy chiefs in the room, where their advice was contestable, where it could be challenged by others, where questions could be asked, rather than just rely on written briefings before the meeting. Frankly, this decision to show them the door is dumb, particularly given only a couple of weeks ago, the ASIO boss said that the threat of an Islamist terror attack on Australian soil within the next 12 months was real. And what? The PM doesn't want the bloke charged with keeping us safe to now attend these national security cabinet meetings as a matter of course. It makes no sense and it should be reversed immediately.